ready? Three, two, one, blast off. Whoa. I know you heard that, right? Whoa. Hi everybody, I'm Chi with the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center. And today we're gonna do an experiment called an egg drop. Now, an egg drop usually takes place when you drop an egg from a high point and you build something around the egg that prevents it from smashing into the ground and breaking. So today, I'm going to help you build some kind of vessel, something to put the egg in, that'll help protect it during this big fall. Now, you don't actually need a real egg to do this experiment. You could use a real egg like this one, but as soon as this brick like falls down and smashes into the ground, you run the risk that you might get egg all over your vessel. And then it's really hard to try again with the same vessel. So instead of using something like this, I'm gonna recommend you use something like a plastic egg. This can be a really good egg substitute. You could also use a ball of Play-Doh. You could use a golf ball or a ping pong ball. Really anything that's about the same size and shape as an egg. And then later, when you're really, really confident, you could maybe replace your substitute with a real egg and try it for real. Now, you're going to need a grown-up's permission and help with this because you're going to need to find someplace high to drop your egg from. So make sure you're talking to your grown-ups and finding someplace safe for everybody. Now, I do want to mention that we are going to use the engineering design process to do this experiment. Now the engineering design process is a big fancy word for this step-by-step -step process that we use to solve problems. You probably use this all the time and just didn't know it had a name. So step one of the engineering design process is to identify the problem. What's the problem? The problem here is that when I drop this egg from someplace high, it'll smash open and I don't want that. So I need to build something to protect this egg. So that brings us to the second step of the engineering design process, which is to explore. We are going to gather information, we're gonna brainstorm, we're gonna maybe gather some materials and start playing with them. We're just gonna start exploring ways we could solve this problem. All right, now for me, that means I'm going to raid my recycling bin to look for materials. So I'll be right back. Now remember everybody, you can pause this video at any time if you need a little extra time to gather materials, to build, or to test. You don't need to go at the fast pace I'm going at. So I found my recycling bin, here it is. I'm gonna see what materials I have to use. Now it's a good idea to check with your grown-ups and make sure the materials you gather are materials that it's okay to use. Uh, I've got a bottle, I've got a cardboard box with some plastic in it, another cardboard box, Let's see I've got a glass container, I've got a can, I've got another cardboard box, I've got a paper towel roll, and some more plastic. Okay, and that's about it. So some of these things are gonna be useful, some of them are not, but what I wanna do is just start exploring it, start to play with the materials and see what I could make hypothetically. Get familiar with your options. Now you're probably also gonna want some like office supplies to help you create the vessel. Uh, so I would recommend you find some scissors um, yeah, I like these big ones, but if you have small ones, that's fine too. Uh, you also want something to attach items together. So I'm going to use this tape. Um, you can use big tape, small tape. You could try glue, but I think tape will work a little better. And then maybe just some other general supplies. I've got some paper clips here. I've got some string that might come in handy. I've got a ruler. I've got paper towels. So raid a desk, raid the garage, raid a, like a junk drawer. Just make sure you're checking with your grown-ups that you're collecting items you actually can use. So find your items, get all set, and then we're gonna move into our next phase, which is called the design phase. 
Okay, so that's our next step. We are actually gonna design something. So for this next part, you're gonna need a paper and a pen or a pencil, okay? So go gather those materials and meet me back here. All right, so I've got my paper and pencil right here. It's actually a pen, but that's okay. I'm going to open it up to a new blank page. And you could just use a piece of scrap paper if you don't have a notebook, that's fine. And I'm going to start designing. What does my ideal egg drop vessel look like? And maybe I wanna come up with a few different ideas. Um, I know I wanna make it cushy, so I need something to help cushion it. So for me, when I design, I like to draw, but some people don't like to draw, and that's fine. You could write down your ideas. You could do a mixture of drawing and writing. You could do symbols to help you, like a symbol that stands for egg. So I'm gonna come up with a few ideas. Uh, probably design something around the, the vessel, something that the egg can ride in. So I'm kind of gonna make like a car for my egg, but one that like is a little bit uh, impact proof, one that maybe has some like airbags or something like that. Um, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna write down my ideas as well. I do like to draw, but I also like to label and add notes because it helps me stay organized. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not an artist, but I drew a lovely kind of like a can uh, with some stuffing in it, and that's my egg right there. And I wrote a few notes just so I'd remember what I want to create. Now, while I'm creating, the plan might change. When I actually start building, I might change my mind on my design. That's fine. You can come back and change this design anytime you want. Just do me a favor and don't erase. Because when you erase, you lose some really good ideas. And even if it's not a perfect design right away, you might want those ideas later. So don't erase, just kind of keep going. Make more and more designs if you want to change something. So now, if we come to our next step in the engineering design process, which is to create. We're actually gonna start building things. But here's the problem. Not everybody is ready to create at this point. Some people need to go back and redesign. Some people need to go back and regather materials and explore some more. The engineering design process is not a straight line. It's not a step-by-step -step thing. You have to go back and redo steps or reimagine your ideas, and that's fine, that's great. So if you are ready to create, I will show you how, but if you need to take time to stop, regather, or redesign, that's fine, do that. So this is how we're going to create. I'm going to decide which of these materials is going to be the bigger vessel that I'm gonna use, and then I'm gonna start adding things to help protect the egg inside. So I'm going to use I either I'm going to use this can or this box as my bigger vessel. Um, I like the, the glass bottle because of its shape, but this is a bad choice. You can probably guess why. Glass is definitely going to break if I drop it from a high distance. So I would avoid glass if you can. Even if you can't, avoid glass. So cardboard and metal, those are pretty safe. I don't think I would break those if I dropped them. I'm gonna go with cardboard, yeah. I'm gonna put the can away. Cardboard seems a little bit easier. Now this cardboard already had some stuffing in it. Um, I could also use maybe paper towel for some stuffing. I could also try to find maybe some tissue paper or tissues, that would work too. Maybe, I don't know. I'm just trying, kind of like guessing and being okay getting it wrong. So I'm gonna start building. I'm going to put these inside. I'm gonna drop some stuff and that's okay. I'm gonna make almost like a little nest for my egg. Aw, it's like a bird. So as you can see, I'm filling it in pretty nicely. Um, I wanna remember that I'm gonna do a few rounds with this. So pick something that's easy to take your egg in and out of. Um, maybe you have to cut open your vessel to get your egg out of it, that's okay. Yeah, you can always tape it back shut. So I'm gonna cushion this in. Maybe I'll do a little paper towel layer on the tippy top. I'm gonna reuse these paper towels after I'm done with this. Maybe I can like cover it up like a blanket. I'm gonna try to fold this box, okay? Actually, I think I'm gonna leave it open. Yeah, I've decided that I'm gonna try to get it to land with its kind of bottom section on the uh, landing pad. 
and we'll see how that works out, but I definitely want to cover it up. Great. Now, I want to ask, is it okay if this fails? What do you guys think? Do you think it's okay if my experiment fails? Yeah? Okay. Do you think it's a good thing to fail or a bad thing to fail in science? It's actually a great thing to fail in science. Scientists fail all the time. I try to fail like 10 times a day if I can. And do you know why? Because every time I fail, I get a little bit smarter because I found something that will not work. And that gets me a step closer to something that will work. So if something goes wrong, if it doesn't work the way you want it to, try to be happy about it. Try to be excited if you fail because that means you got a little bit smarter and you're a little closer to figuring out what will succeed. Yeah. So this is my experiment. I think I'm ready to test it. I'm gonna take it to my drop zone and drop it and see if it can survive the drop. Now remember, I'm gonna get a grown-up's help and permission before I do this because we're talking about heights and we gotta make sure we're being super safe. All right, I'll meet you out there. Hi everybody, welcome to the test zone. Now we have reached the next phase of the engineering design process, which is the try it out, test it kind of phase. So I've got my vessel right here. Uh, I created a drop zone. It's an area that I know no one will be walking underneath, so I don't need to worry about safety. I'll give you a little peek at it. It is that tarp. I just laid out a tarp I had laying around in the garage. And there's a trash bag on top. I taped it down because the wind was blowing. But that's what I'm going to use as my drop zone. Now, you could use something like that, or if you're using a non-egg, an egg substitute, you don't even really need a tarp. I'm just doing it so you can see where I'm aiming at. Now, as a little addition, I added some coins to my fake egg because this is going to help me tell how softly it hits the ground. Because in order for this egg to not break, I am going to need it to land really softly, really gently, and really quietly. And that's how I'll know that it had a safe, soft impact. All right, you ready to try it? All right, I'm going to hold this in my hand so that you guys can see. Here we go. Count me down. Three, two, one, blast off. Wow. It failed. I mean, yay, it failed. We're excited, right? Yes, so that did not work the way I wanted it to. I'll give you guys a nice look at that. Um, the egg is just went flying out and now it is on the floor. And were you guys able to hear that it made like a loud, like <laughs> kind of jangling sound? That tells me that it did not hit the ground gently. It hit the ground really hard. So that is not a successful egg drop. It is a failure, but that's exciting because now I know what not to do next time. So if I was gonna improve this, I would say I need to find a way to get the egg <clears throat> to stay inside the vessel. Maybe I wanna tape it closed. Maybe I want to redesign my vessel so it's easier to keep it inside. But I've got some brainstorming to do, and some rethinking to do. Maybe I need more supplies as well. So in the engineering design process, when this happens, you go back and you start over. Or you go back and you redo a step that'll help you get the result that you want. Now, I'm going to go collect my materials before they blow away. Keep going, don't erase any ideas, keep trying things over and over again, and no matter what, keep sciencing. All right, goodbye scientists.